And here I put some sunflower seeds in there. And we're just gonna do a whole walkthrough. So over here we've got sweet potatoes. And I pulled out the volunteers that were there. More sweet potatoes. And the broccoli's doing okay. These are some sort of giant volunteers. I pulled out the tomatoes. I'll show you where they went. There's also some volunteers here. Um, up the side are all the pumpkins and stuff. Nothing new there. And then not a whole lot new up this row, but the cabbage is doing something. Um, this clover is growing pretty well. And then these plants, these end ones are doing okay actually. I take that back. I was going to say they're not doing very much. Um, but these definitely not doing very much. We'll see how that goes. Um, I dropped in a couple of volunteers over here. Here's the one that didn't seem to be too pleased. Here's another one. That one's doing okay. Um, here's another one that I dropped in, sort of replaced one that was in there. Uh, gosh, next row. Okay. Um, nothing new. Oh, I put this tomato in. That's one of the volunteers. I put some seeds in between some of these things, so it's more the same stuff. Daisha's behind me, and she's sort of getting a third-person review of the whole garden here. Um, got some jalapenos and a sweet cayenne pepper, which is yellow, apparently, for now. Um, got a bug in my ear. Uh, not much happening on that row, so I won't walk down it. But then along here... These are volunteer somethings, and more of those somethings. This entire row are volunteer tomatoes. So, they look pretty good to start until they came out today, and they're very droopy. So hopefully they will bounce back. If they don't, they were free. No big deal. Um, here's one that's doing really well, though. Very happy. Um, these are some sort of crawling uh, volunteers, some sort of melon or squash. There's some more tomatoes. These are some of their survivor tomatoes on the end. They're doing okay. Um, I did, along the pumpkin row, put in some seeds for different stuff. To be honest, I don't remember what it was. Um, all of this section and all of this was weeded. Um, Sarah helped out with that. Uh, actually, lots of people helped out with that. Two different kinds of Sarahs and Patrick and William all helped with weeding. Um, so I don't know what those are. The onions are all weeded and doing okay, although some of it's laying down, which I think is means they're done. And then I have uh, Fenceville, which I just added today. And in the back are corn, and in the front are beans and peas. So the hope is that the beans and peas will grow up and climb up on there, and that the corn will be smart enough to come through the slats, and um, none of this is really mounted on. So all of this just comes right back. So, I need to get more stuff in there again. Okay, so in here, I planted, there's a little stick there, and one at the other end, and I planted a row of beans because I thought I was going to put the fencing over here. But I decided that the dirt was too nice. This actually pulls up really easily. Um, that's just some bean sprouts, or pea sprouts. Um, but I planted corn all under there, so I think I'll end up taking that off. Just want to make sure it doesn't dry out right away. And there's little bitty peas on these things. So that's exciting. I have no idea what they are. I assume peas or beans or something. I have a couple of sunflowers that are actually popping up. Seem to be doing okay. That's a weed. More sunflowers down here. Don't know why these are doing well. That's another weed. Here's lots more weeds. And then here is where the bees will be. 
and um, so this little patch um, was prepared for the bees and I might introduce you to the beekeepers and uh, when they're actually here but so we just sort of dug this out cleared some weeds out put some cardboard down some cinder blocks which I have from the old fire pit and then we'll put the beehives on there and the mulch as you might guess just came from over there so pretty cool gonna have bees